and in this tutorial we'll be making this snazzy 3D text in Blender and GIMP and this is a recreation tutorial of Brandon Bias's Ch -ch Check It tutorial using Photoshop and Cinema 4D and I think he did a recreation of someone else's tutorial. The difference between mine and theirs is I'm using free programs Blender and GIMP. So first of all we need to start by making the 3D text in Blender. If you've been watching my videos recently, I've made a Blender tutorial with this text in, with a bit more de in depth to it. So go watch that if you're a beginner to Blender. So add text RX90 to make it like this. And before we start anything, make sure the resolution is on 1280 and 720 with a resolution on 100%. Okay. When we want to render this, we want it to have a transparent background so we can take it into GIMP and then edit it. So, under the shading drop down, change the alpha to transparent. And down here on output, we want instead of it on RGB, we want it an RGBA for red, green, blue, and alpha. Cool! So now we need to go into our um, little font editor thing here and we want the extrude on 0 0.25 resolution on 6 and the font I'm going to be using for this is called Blade Runner. I'll leave a link in the description. We have our Blade Runner font here and I'll leave the size on 2 thousand and I'm going to press tab to edit and I'm just going to type in snazzy and then press tab again so we want to control C control V and we want to pull it back here on the first one go to your materials icon here and press new and the diffuse color on a turquoise with the intensity on 1, specular on white with the intensity on 1, and on the second one we want to go new, diffuse on fully white, intensity 1, and specular on white so it has a glow to it. Control C, Control V on the first one, and Control C, Control V on the white one, so we have this staggered layer, um, staggered coloured text here. So we need to add some light, so go add lamp point. I'm going to pull it up over here and push it forward like so. We want to go to add lamp again, point, sorry, and we want to drag it right in front of our A and Z. We want it down here so it has a, a beam of light. There we go. Now we want to go to add camera RX90 to have it like this. Drag up, pull, oopsie, drag up and push back as like that. And oopsie, zoomed out a bit too far there with my cheap little scrolly thingy. Then we want to go to view camera and we have our nice little snazzy text there. Go to your camera icon and click render. See if it gets everything in. Exit. That doesn't get everything in so we just want to move the camera back just a tad like that and we want to get to render again. See if it gets everything in. Nope. I need to move it back just a bit more render there we go and then press F3 and save the image on our desktop cool my snazzy type save image cool so let's open up GIMP and we want to go to file open and open up our snazzy tut text 
and it turned out quite nice. So, make a new layer, fill it in with black, and we want to duplicate this twice, call this one Blur 2, this one Blur 1, and this one Snazzy Text. On Blur 1, we want to get the Rotate Tool, and we want to, actually before we even duplicate that text layer, we should have moved it up. Cool. Now duplicate it and call it Blur 2 and Blur 1 and move those both down like that. On Blur 1, so we're on Blur 1 first, get the rotate tool and we want to rotate it up like this. So minus 28.45. On Blur 2, we want to rotate it 28.45 and rotate. And on both layers, we want to go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we want to blur it by 12. Not 120. 12. Cool. And on Blur one, I'll click Gaussian Blur, and we want the opacity on around 30. Cool. And on the snazzy text, we want to resize this and make it smaller. So click the scale tool, click this chain button, and drag it down like that. And get the move tool, I'm going to move it into the center like that. Cool, so now we have our text and the two blurred twist things at the back. Um, the next thing we need to do is create our interweaving rectangle. So get your rectangle select tool, create a new layer above our background layer, which we'll call black. And on the new layer, get a rectangle and draw one like this size. And we want to select this um, bright turquoise color, and we want to call, and the HTML notation for mine is 09D0C9, and we just want to simply fill that in. Go to select none. Now duplicate this. Get the move tool, and we want to hold shift and click the arrow keys three times, so it's got like this and duplicate it again, hold shift and move it like that. Um, so it's all evenly spaced but we want it a bit thinner than that so we're going to click on the duplicated third layer and we just want to move it in a bit more like that and the original layer we just want to move it in like this. So we have these rectangles and just merge those all down and call this blue Rec tangles. Cool. And now get the shear tool to put it on an angle as you can see here. And yes. Get the shear tool. Oh, cancel. Shear tool. And we're gonna shear ours like this. Minus four six eight. And get the move tool. And we just want to move it like that and duplicate this and call it grey rectangles there we go get the fill tool select make sure your foreground colour is set on this um colour here 235152 it is and you just want to fill it in select there we go. Um, sorry about that. Now get your flip tool and flip it horizontally like that. Get your move tool. So wait, have I got the right colour? Um, whoopsie, I haven't got the right colour. Fill it in with is it that 
colour. No, it's definitely this colour. Sorry about that. It is that colour. And get your move tool and we want to move it just like that. And um, we just need to move the blue rectangles a bit over like that. And the grey rectangles are fine. Um, nice. So go back to your snazzy text and just move it a bit more into the centre like that. And we want to make this interweaving effect here. To do that, just hide all your text layers and we want to go on the grey layer, click, right click, add layer mask, white full opacity and select your eraser tool with your foreground colour on that teal colour or turquoise, whatever. And we simply just want to paint in and we are creating quite a nice drop shadow as we go. And just do this same pattern I'm doing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Same pattern as I'm doing. And we have it. Um, and then right click, apply layer mask. So we have this cool interweaving effect. The next step is on the blue rectangles, go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And we want the offset X and Y on 0, and the blur radius on 20 with the opacity set on 85, and uncheck allow resizing. Merge that down. Blue rectangles again. And repeat that same drop shadow on the grey, um, the grey rectangles. Merge down. Cool, so we have our interweaving effect done and dusted. So before we continue, we want to add, first we want to add our grungy texture on top and we want to add this single, single flare here. So create a new layer and call it flare and then go to file, open as layers and open up the texture I'm going to leave a link in the description and call this texture oops see by spelling texture and lower the opacity sorry set the mode on overlay and then lower the opacity to around 78 like that and then on our flare layer we're going to simply go to flare layer and go to file open as layers and I'll leave a link in the description a description for Media Militia's Lens Flares. You can go download those. And I think I'll be using Lens Flare 41, was it? Or 40? Was it even in the 40s? Oh, 21? Nope. Which one was it? Um... These are really, I might be using 33 for this one. Cool. And simply move this flare. Move that to flare. Simply going to move this flare on the bottom of our Z. Merge it down and get the eraser tool. We just want to erase any simply not that. We want to get a pretty fuzzy brush there and just breathe some of the spectrum. Just like that. There we go. Actually, don't erase any. It looks quite nice. Um, cool. So we have our text, the flare, and the texture with the interweaving rectangles. The next step is in between Blur 2 and Snazzy Text, create a new layer and call this Debris and make sure your foreground colour is set on white 
and get your brush and select a debris brush which I'll leave a link in the description for with a size pretty big like 800 and simply just put your your debris all over the shop just put this one there put them on there Um, simply just put it around without making it look too structured if you want it looks placed it looks like that cool so we have our first layer of debris and if you and the next step is duplicating this and we want to right click alpha to selection make sure the foreground color is set on that teal and Fill or selection, and then set your fill mode uh, affected area on fill hole selection, and just fill in our debris with that blue. Now get your move tool on the debris copy, and just move our debris around. And and move that above the snazzy text. So we have two debris going on and we have our flare texture and the rectangles. Next um, we want to go create a new layer and call it wings between debris and the snazzy text so right here. And we simply want on the wings layer get a paintbrush with the foreground on white and get any of these fractal wings that I um, that you can download and use for this tutorial and yes and you simply just want to place one in between the A and the Z or in the center and click Okay, we only need to paste one, so cool. Next, you want to just get the rotate tool, and we just want to rotate it up like this. And just move it down. Cool. Duplicate this layer, and then select the flip tool, and we just want to flip it like that. And we have these nice wings. Now you just want to merge down the duplicated layer and right click on these, alpha to selection, make sure your foreground colour is on this teal, background colour is on the white, and select the blend tool, we just want to stroke a linear gradient straight down, select none. And looks pretty similar, my recreation, and if you... Um, so there we have it, our snazzy text in GIMP. Um, leave any comments, send to me, just contact me via my social medias and or just by a YouTube comment. Um, if you want me to recreate any Photoshop tutorials you'd like and I will do my best. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Bye.